Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and today I wanted to do my Christmas haul. Uh, I know it's a bit late because Christmas has been a couple of weeks ago now but I still really wanted to share with you guys my what I got for Christmas because I love talking about things that I enjoy and I've had a couple of weeks to play around with things now and I just wanted to be able to share with you this isn't in any way to brag about anything I'm super grateful and super lucky for what I got for Christmas I I didn't expect half of it and I, I feel really happy and thankful for the people in my life and I just wanted to share with you the things that I enjoy so without further ado let's go get into the things I got for Christmas. I'm not entirely sure whether I'm not going to share the stuff that I bought myself as a little present because I don't know how long this video is going to be but if it's not too long I might do. If it is a bit on the long side then I won't. So the first thing and my main present this year was something that I wasn't expecting and I'm super 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 thankful for it and Honestly, I, it just makes me, I still can't believe, to be honest. I, and this was the um, my iPhone 13. This is in the midnight color and it's the one that is 256 gigabytes. So my parents got me this and I'm so thankful because it means that I could start like filming YouTube and stuff again because the camera on this is so much better than on my old phone and I'm just I'm just so happy because it's not something that because obviously it's re it is really expensive it's not something that I really expected I put it on my list as sort of a maybe but I'm so happy and thank you so much mum and dad <laughs> so the next stuff uh, I want I'm going to show you is basically for context I have a little bit of an obsession with Percy Pig because he is my icon and I love him so much so I got some Percy Pig slippers and they've got a nice furry inside so it keeps your feet warm but they've got a really hard bottom so it's really good for foot support which I need because of my arthritis that's not all of the Percy Pig stuff I got I won't be able to show you all of these because some of them are in the wash but my mum got me these Percy Pig like five pack of socks and I needed some socks anyway so these just amuse me so much because look at his cute little face I just I, don't, I just can't get over I, I'm 20 years old and I love Percy Pig so much it's a really bad obsession like I feel like it started off as a joke but like it didn't and I can't even say that it did because I, I just love him I've got three giant stuffed Percy Pigs in this room with me at the moment so I might have a problem and this is another uh, variant of the design look at his cute little face <laughs> Also, I was given a hamper, like a, a collection box thing. I'm not sure what you call them, but it was also of Percy. So in that, in that box was a Percy Pig hot water bottle. I've yet to fill him up with water, but he's like just the right size to hug. Like he's so soft and he's so sweet. And I don't usually use like when I have hot water bottles I don't ever usually fill them up but I feel like he might help when my muscles are sore just to have a little hot water bottle friend maybe I should fill him up today I will do that and also in the box came a little Percy Pig sleeping mask <laughs> I keep him on my chef Percy because I don't really use sleeping masks but he's also really soft and he looks funny on Percy He's really squishy as well. Also in the box was a little pack of Percy Pig sweets, which I'm super happy that it's like a smaller bag because I, I like the sweets, but they can be a bit like much in one go. So it was really like cool idea to have a smaller version. But my absolute favorite thing 
in the box is this <laughs> Percy Pig throw. It's so soft and I'll put it on. I literally I have it on my bed. If I need to go out anywhere that I might get cold, I take it with me and I sit on the sofa with it on. I just love him. Look at him. Look how adorable he is. I just love it. And also it matches my bedding because it's a nice blue colour. I'm not sure that was intentional, but it might have been. Moving on away from Percy Pig stuff, because I think that's everything. I got three books and that is Gilded by Marissa Mayer. This is sort of, I think it's a gender bent retelling of Rumpelstiltskin and I don't know too much about it, but it, I really like Marissa Mayer's work. She wrote the Lunar Chronicles and Heartless and also the Renegade series but the Heartless is sort of like a retelling of the Queen of Hearts and the Lunar Chronicles had lots of different fairy tales woven in throughout the story so I and I really love those books so I think I, I really like this so that's why I didn't like bother to research too much before putting it on my Christmas list because I like to sort of go in not knowing too much so I don't have too many expectations because I find if you have too much expectations you don't really enjoy the books very much but yeah I'm really excited to jump into the work because her work is so easy to read. The next is You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen and McManus. I read One of Us is Lying, One of Us is Next and Two Can Keep a Secret. I have the cousins on my bookshelf, I haven't got around to it yet. But I really, really love Karen M. McManus because she writes such good thrillers and they're like, these are all young adult books, uh, but yeah, they're just, they're so easy to read. I can never tell what's happening and they're basically everything that I want in a thriller. And also I love how all of her covers match. Is It's, it's really satisfying to see them all on the shelf next to each other. <laughs> the last book is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I've been getting more and more into um, adult romances and this one is all over TikTok at the moment so I wanted to read it so I put it on my Christmas list and it was I can't wait to get to it. It's on my TBR for January so I have heard it's upsetting and will make you cry which I'm not sure is something that I need but I want to see uh, what this author is like because I hear them talked about so much online and I want to see if it's an author that I love. Also I got a, a box of Instax uh, mini refills which I have already used a whole cartridge of because I love taking Polaroids ever since I just I saw my friends at uni using an Instax camera so I got I asked for one for last Christmas and ever since I've just loved taking Polaroids. I love pictures, I love physical pictures to hold in your hand and so I can never have enough. <laughs> I've nearly filled up my entire like Polaroid album and I'm going to be moving on to my next ones. I also got these adorable pyjamas. They've got little dogs and cats and rabbits and like various like household pets they're all like decked out like Christmas and they're so comfortable and I live in pajamas one thing I like is it doesn't have like elasticated bottoms so I'm just there lounging in these and they're so soft and they're so cute my favorite animal on this is this little Westie look at him with a little cracker in his glasses it's so cute <laughs> I also got a new KVD tattoo liner eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner which has got a like a felt tip, uh, not felt tip, a brush, like a like a makeup brush or a an art brush tip. And these are my favourite eyeliners ever since I've had this. I've never gone back from it. It makes making wings so much better, and I'm so pleased to get another one because. It's my favourite thing in my makeup kit. Like, I could not wear makeup if it wasn't for that. I also got another uh, Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced. Again, this is my favourite mascara. Ever since I've got this, I can't have any other mascara because it just makes my eyelashes look so good. And when I was at uni, like the first year, 
in the freshest fair two faced were there and they were giving out free samples and i tell i kid you not they lasted me until because i didn't open them until i was ready to, until one of them was dead they lasted me until the, basically this christmas and i <laughs> i needed another one to replace otherwise i would have cried a lot because i would miss it so i'm so pleased to have another one and i also got simple uh, rich moisture sheet mask and i'm so excited to have like a pamper night with these i love this skin stuff i also got <laughs> on the nintendo switch lego marvel superheroes which i may or may not have already completed i well the first like story mode that makes sense i really enjoy lego games uh, because I don't know there's something so nostalgic about lego games and i love like just being able to destroy everything in the set and the like noises the lego pieces make and stuff <laughs> i find it so satisfying and i'm <laughs> i had a lot of fun playing this i still need to replay it so i can unlock everything because i'm a completionist but i really enjoyed it <laughs> and i also got spider-man on the ps4 which I still need to start because I wanted to finish the Lego game before I started this because I get distracted if I have too many things on the go at once but I'm so excited to play this I've been wanting to play it for ages and I finally have it now so I should get on and play it before uni starts the next few pieces um, are from my nan and I really like the selection that she's got me. The first things are a couple of lipsticks. So this is the colour Sensation Lipsticks by Maybelline. This is in the shade 930 Nude Embrace. And it's a matte one. And the colour is that. I'm not going to swatch them just because I don't want to end up with makeup everywhere. But I think it's such a nice colour. I have like a more pinky one and a more like orange toned one. But this one is a more like neutral matte colour I would say so I'm super excited to try it out I haven't actually worn it yet because I haven't been wearing makeup since boxing day the other one is I'm not sure what ex the exact product is it's a L'Oreal lipstick which I think is a colour color I don't know how to say that is in the shade 256 blush fever and i have worn this one and it's a lovely pink like it's almost got like a pearlescent shimmer to it and i also got some real technique sponges these have the microfiber one and the normal one and these are my favorite makeup sponges they just uh, they just make it the easiest to like apply makeup basically so i'm really happy to have more and then i also got a christian breton paris uh, lash up mascara which one I, I haven't had the brand and i haven't tried this particular mascara either so it'll be nice to try something completely new so i hope it works and a sleek uh black utopia volumizing mascara i've never had a sleek mascara either i've had their uh, face brights before and i've really enjoyed them so fingers crossed these work for my lashes and she also got this little thing to keep your i don't know what they're called but it keeps your hair out of your face when you're doing your makeup i use it for when i'm doing my skincare and it's actually helped me so much not get it in my hair because i'm so messy so it's really cute as well but it it's actually made such a difference to like when i'm doing my skincare not to get it in sort of these bits of my hair so if you have a sort of issue like that then i highly recommend one of these it is a lifesaver honestly and also got the uh, portland bee balm uh lip so they're uh what you call it it's three lip balms made out of beeswax and they're all in like little wooden packaging i haven't actually tried them yet because i wanted to do a patch test just before i used them but i think this is such a cool idea how it's in like one it says that they're like they're quality free they support the bees and their keepers and stuff by doing this but also it's in wooden packaging that's so cool i've never seen lip balm or anything like that in wooden packaging before so i cover me stoked because i really if these work for me which i really hope they will also the packaging is cardboard as well so 
it's all like i guess as sustainable as you can make it which is so cool i also got an, a replacement of the maybelline eraser eye in the shade light i love this concealer it is my favorite concealer and i will never use another one because this one is so good for my like skin type and it gets rid of my dark circles easily it's easy to blend perfect for me i really love these and i'm so grateful to have a replacement because i literally ran out on boxing day and that's when i received it so the next things are from my aunt and I don't know how she does it every time because I don't ever give like specific things but she gets something that I absolutely love and I'm not sure if she knows that I like the products but anyway I do <laughs> and so this is the I think it's the Christmas collection of the Too Faced palette it's called Christmas yeah it's called Christmas in London so I assume it's the Christmas collection and the palette looks like that i wore it christmas day and i wore it boxing day and i plan to have more like adventure with it because there's some lovely shimmer shades in here and the transition shades and blending shades are amazing and when i tried out the blushes i'm so happy that this has got blushes in because i wanted blushes for christmas and because I I've only just started wearing them and stuff so to have a palette that's got the blushes in is great and I love Too Faced eyeshadows they're my favorite eyeshadow brand just because of their ease of use and the color schemes they do are what I like so it's so cool <laughs> I'm so happy to have got this because it's really good also it came with another uh, better than sex mascara which was on my christmas list so i'm so happy to have two so i can hopefully make it last at least until my birthday <laughs> and it also got me two face melted matte uh lady balls lipstick which <laughs> the name is quite funny and i really like the shade it's a lovely sort of uh, i think yeah like a blue toned red which I don't actually have many of. I've got more like orange toned ones. I like the feel of this liquid lipstick on my lips. So thank you. <laughs> she also got a lip injection with it and I've yet to try it. I will do a, a patch test first and see. It looks cool though. It looks like iridescent unicorn stuff. <laughs> it was really thoughtful. Also, she got me some hot chocolate like melt melting bomb things and i i have consumed them <laughs> i also got some really pretty i forgot to say this when i was saying the stuff i got from my nan but i got some pretty necklaces from my nan and they were in the same box together and i believe this the crystal that is on the on there is called labradorite which is so I think it's so pretty it's for protection and yeah I think it's I can't remember what it said on the box but it was definitely for protection and like good good will like vibes and stuff but it's so pretty I've always wanted to like buy some crystals but I don't really have the sort of money to spend on crystals so it's so thoughtful just it's so pretty I'm not really good at showing them. It came with this other other necklace, which is this lovely little golden chain one, which has got uh, some white crystal, well, not crystals, but they're like little pearl bead things. It's really pretty on, you can, and they look really good together, or you can wear them individually, so it's really pretty. And I have like the last two things to show you, oh no, yeah, kind of, and, so these are from my boyfriend and he got me the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection just because Assassin's Creed 2 and the Revelations and Brotherhood are my favourite Assassin's Creed games and I was playing them on my Xbox but I prefer PlayStation controllers so for my PS4 it's perfect and I can relive and play through them more like the first time again so i'm super excited to do that and he also got me some 
Doc Martens. I don't know what the, the actual style is called. I'll have to like look it up and put it on the screen or in the on in the description below. But um and I'll put a picture of them here or um just because they're downstairs and dirty because I've worn them outside so I don't want to bring them into my bedroom. So not like dirty all over, they're just on the bottom, that's all I mean. So I'll put a build picture here. And to go with them he got me some um shoe polish cream which I thought was really sweet. <laughs> And I, I found them so comfortable. I asked for Doc Martens because of my arthritis. I need some like support on my arch. And I wore them out the first time. I literally couldn't believe how comfortable they were. Aside from the blisters. But the actual like bar, like foot part of the shoe was so comfortable. And I couldn't believe it. So I will need to invest in some of the little shoes. But I can't wait until they're like properly broken in. Which just because... They're honestly going to be the comfiest shoes ever. So I just thank you so much for them. I feel well and truly spoiled. And thank you to everyone for all my presents because I do feel really spoiled and grateful and thankful for everything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I got for Christmas. And I hope to see you in the next video so thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a thumbs up comment down below any suggestions you have for future videos and i'll see you in the next one bye for now guys